Richard, first of all, let, let's talk about the start of the season after what happened on opening day. How pleased are you with the way the team's uh, recovered and, and got themselves some wins now? Yeah, obviously pleased to uh, to put things right. The first game of the season was nowhere near good enough and that uh, was incredibly hard for us to to look at, but we needed to and we needed to extract all of the negatives and, and simply put it right as quickly as we can. So we're still looking at it now and saying you know, we're never happy with, with losing games and losing the way we did is something that we're not used to. So we had to take some positives out of it and understand that last year uh, it was very, very different. The challenges were, were very, very different. Um, and how can we deal with that type of loss uh, and be able to push on and, and have the, the courage and bravery to, to put things right? So not being in that position very much last season, obviously it was unfamiliar, but I think the lads have done really, really well in an unfamiliar position to turn it around quickly and, and get the wins under a belt and, and hopefully long may that continue. Has it been a big change then? I mean, obviously every team's different and you can't just group the National League all as one and League Two all as one, but has there been some very notable differences <clears> then that you've seen already in League Two from, from what you had last season? I'd say the the, the biggest differences that we've, we've noticed would be um, it's very similar in terms of teams don't want to play the same style of football that we play. It's very unique. Uh, we're very confident in our style of play and that's part of our culture to be composed and to play attractive football and obviously create lots of chances and at the same time be incredibly good uh, in terms of regaining the ball rather than just heading it out of play or just kicking it long. It's never been our type of game whereas uh, National League and League Two we know other teams, no disrespect to them, they like to play less uh, on the floor and, and play less about possession based uh, and dominating football they just want to simply just get it up the pitch as quickly as possible get it in the box as much as they can and then they you know they get kind of lucky chances um, and then they look to latch on to anything they can so the biggest difference I've noticed from National League to League Two is I'd say the, the, the quality of the players when it is put long balls or, or um, second balls just kind of just put in any direction uh, up the pitch, the, the quality of the players are slightly better. So when their defenders or midfielders do just kick it in behind, so to speak, uh, the the strikers or attacking players are a little bit more clinical. So we've had to be mindful of that and obviously that caught us out in, uh, in the first game of the season. As you could see, they weren't trying to play possession-based football. They just simply wanted to kick it up there and anywhere as quickly as they could um, and then take their chances and then sit back. So. Um, we've learnt from that and we can see now where we have to be on our game and like I say, uh, we've been able to turn that around and we have to make sure we keep that going. You haven't had long to turn it around either, have you? Right at the start of the season, game after game <coughs> and midweeks and so on, has, has it been quite intensive off, you know, away from match days to, mm. to try and quickly solve that then? Yeah, it's obviously been a difficult start with a Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Um, but. Football is relentless and there's no excuses, no one cares um, about feeling sorry. We, we don't have time for that, so we have to make sure that we get back on the pitch. We right our wrongs very quickly, we get our heads back up, we stick together and that's what we had to do. We had to knuckle down and, and look at these things in the first game and really look at it and extract the uh, the negatives. So we've done that exceptionally well. We, we are had to take accountability uh, as, ev as, as every individual has to do. Um, we have to look at ourselves first and then we look at ourselves as a team and say, OK, well, what can we do to, to put this right? Because we know the talent that we have in the squad is, is exceptional. Um, we have everything we need um, to be successful this season. Um, so, yeah, we've done really, really well to, to grasp onto that. And like I say, we just need to really stay focused now and make sure that we turn up um, for these next two home games is a great opportunity. We capitalise on that and you might look at the first month as a positive. What does it mean to you to be back playing in the Football League again? Barnet last time, I think at the end of the 2017-18 season, so it's a good few years. Indeed, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a great feeling, obviously. To, uh, my main objective coming here was to get this club back to the Football League where it deserves to be. Um, that was always my main priority coming here, so I'm so happy that We've been able to achieve that, um, but it doesn't stop there. So we're now focused on the next objective. Um, so yeah, I'm obviously happy on, a, on an individual note, but more importantly for this club, 
uh, for this team and community, we want to push for more. So that's what I'm now focused on doing. Different role for you at the moment, yeah. at the heart of the <coughs> back three. How are you finding it? Yeah, it's, it's different for sure. Um, it's a position I've never played in in, in my entire career, but um, I'm really enjoying it. And um, the manager knows that I'm, I'm very versatile and, and everyone knows really that I'm comfortable playing in in uh, I play right wing back, play right back, play right centre back. Now I play centre back, so the left, the last position is playing on the left maybe. But but um, I'm more than happy uh, to play those positions because I'm I'm comfortable with uh, dictating play and being on the ball and and being confident to to control the game. Um, so yeah, wherever the gaffer puts me, all I really care about is us winning and, and getting up the table. So I'm happy. How do you view that role? Is it a central defender's role? Is it what we might have previously called a sweeper? Or what? How, how do you view that position and what your, your role in it is? I would say the main objective in that role is uh, regain. So I guess you could call it being a sweeper. Um, it's simply being able to see the, read the game exceptionally well, um, help make others uh, look good by passing them the, the, the perfect timing balls in, in the right positions, in the right, you know, John Bostock or Dan Crowley or uh, Aaron Lemayne and, 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 you know, Didzi and finding them in the, in the positions for them to cause the team's problems. Uh, and then when we don't have the ball, we're simply trying to make sure that the team is well organised um, and, like I say, sweeping up, picking up things, getting it back down, being composed rather than just kicking or heading at our play, we've got to be confident enough to be able to get it down, play again, get it down, play again, and, and really control uh, possession. So that's my job um, in that position, and uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. It's interesting, when you just listed those players there, I was just going through in my mind, what, what a dream that must be, that you've got these players ahead of you, all of whom can create something from either side. Jody Jones on the left. It's a good like list, say, right? Yeah, it, it is, is though, it's isn't a, it? It's a really good list. So, like I said, we've got an exceptional squad. That's just a, that's just a small list at the top of my head. Every single player, when I'm on that football pitch, I look at and I know full well that they can help us win. So, it's such a good feeling to be in this squad. Um, and being in this at this club at this moment of time because like I say we're we're looking to push for more and we have that opportunity now. Back home this weekend you, you I mean you've been thrown away three league games this season so it's <coughs> kind of good to get a couple of home games back now as you have this next couple of weeks. Yeah it's um like I say that the Saturday Tuesdays haven't been difficult and when you look at that uh, the Morecambe draw was was obviously we looked at it and we wanted to get more from it but we'll take a point. Um, and then going obviously to, to Doncaster away from home and, and getting a comfortable win um, was was positive. So now we look at it and before the Doncaster game, we we said, well, the gaffer said, it's a great opportunity for us, you know, capitalise on that, make sure it happens, make sure we get the win. Um, and then you look at the next two home games, you're back at your fortress with the amazing support that we have. We know that it's difficult for any team to, to come and play here at Meadow Lane. So having the next two games and, and Saturday to Saturday is a wonderful opportunity for us. So like I say, we just have to make sure we capitalise on that and we, we make sure we, we go and get the, the points. So let's see. Great stuff, Richard, thank you. Brins, what was your first reaction when Luke told you you'd be playing at the heart of central defence for us? It was a surprise, of course, because I've, I've never played there before. Um, and I'm sure you can imagine for any player, when, when you haven't played in a position, you're thinking, where do I go and, and what do I do? Because there's, there's, it takes years to, to master a position. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised in, in terms of the, the way that we play that and, and uh, what is asked of me to, to be con composed and control the game in that position. It suits me down to the ground. So... Um, like I say, that I'm happy to, to play there, I'm happy to play right centre back or right back or right wing back, wherever the gaffer wants me, I'm more than happy to do. My main objective is, is making sure that this team wins games, so wherever that is, uh, I'm more than happy. Is it almost a badge of honour when a, a manager or a head coach <coughs> gives you the responsibility of taking on such a new role? Because we saw it, you switching into the back three a couple of years ago as well, which was unfamiliar for you at the time. Mm. Is that something... A lot of players, I guess, could see it as you being moved around almost unnecessarily, potentially. But you know, he's clearly seen something <coughs> in you, which you know it makes you a special uh, standout for that role. Yeah, um, like you say, obviously the the switch from right back to right centre back uh, with Ian Birchner, I believe, 
it was a, obviously a transition that I had to get used to um, and, and the training that I was given there was, was exceptional. So that helped me a lot and obviously I blossomed there. And then coming into a new type of role, obviously people know that I'm very versatile and um, I'm very much a player that reads the game very, very well. So wherever I am on the pitch, um, I have a good understanding of, I'd like to think I have a good intelligence of reading game and, and being able to positionally be uh, do a job exceptionally well. So I'm more than comfortable to play in these types of roles and I always back myself um, to, to pick things up very, very quickly. I've always been a quick learner. So um, playing in that sense of role is a little bit more, um, shall we say, it requires more dictatorship. So for me, that, that's something that I'm very good at as I'm composed on the ball and, and like to control things. Um, so that's no problem for me at all. Like I say, hopefully I can continue to, to do well there, but wherever I play, uh, I'm more than happy as long as we're winning. That's the, the main objective for me. And he's seen this as an opportunity to add new strings to your bow. I mean, obviously, you're a, you're a massively experienced player. You've experienced lots of success higher in the EFL as well over the course of your career. But people like David McGoldrick are big advocates for the fact you can never stop learning. John Bostock said similar as well. Mm. Is this an opportunity for you to add another element of versatility to you as a player and to learn more about the game for you? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's something that um, I think every player should, should look to do. Um, always trying to be better. I'm very, very lucky because we have um, amazing coaches here and, it, and it's, you know, the gaffer and, and Ryan and it doesn't even stop there. His, his background staff um, with Zhao and, and George, um, it, you know, and, and Wheelie and, and Hutz, it, it collectively helps um, where I'm able to go to people and, and, and they come to me and look at things and say, listen, you can take this up another level and we can improve you here and there. Uh, I'm so, so lucky to have that here. So I want to obviously capitalise on that, um, grow as much as I possibly can um, mentally and, and physically on the pitch. And, and I'd like to think at this moment of time, it's working really, really well for, for me and, and the team. So it's been a, been a pre-season that we, we looked at different types of things. Um, and obviously playing in that, that sense of that role um, has been a very, very recent um, change but it's always been something that I've been open to do is, is simply uh, learning new things and, and seeing if I can master those things and I, I love a challenge and I love learning so um, it's something that I'm, I'm currently really really enjoying so like I say we'll just have to um, see whether that will be the the main position that I blossom but like I say again um, whether it's right centre-back or centre-back, I'm, I'm really just focused on helping the team any way I can.